What is up people, Fire here from AwesomeDudes.com and before you start with this video, just quickly, I wanted to tell you that you can go on my website here, AwesomeDudes.com and then you can go under download free assets and there you can download free assets. Now these are commercial free assets, they are not assets for this tutorial. The assets for this tutorial, this dark cave, you can find, link is in the description below so you can get them from that link. But these are other commercial free assets that you can use to develop your own games and you have 3D assets, 2D assets, backgrounds and whatnot and I keep adding new and new stuff. So you should definitely check this out and yeah, enjoy the video. Now we are going to start with something that I like to call game controllers or game managers as some developers call them. So the point here is that we create game controllers that are accessible to us within our whole game and then we are going to carry them with us in every scene which, I, which is going to help us to control our game. So first thing I'm going to go in my controllers first in the script folder, then controllers folder, then I am gonna right click and create a new C sharp script and I'm gonna name it game manager or game controller but the convention is to name him game manager. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna create an empty game object and I'm gonna position it zero zero. Now position is not important when I always say position it zero zero this is just my thing. I like it like that. So I like the game object to be at zero zero. I'm gonna name it game manager and we are gonna attach the script on him. Now so far we can drag and attach the script right here in the hierarchy or when we select the game object in the hierarchy we can attach it here in the inspector panel that will also work. So I'm gonna double click on the script and open it here and I'm just gonna tag it quickly typing here class so that we know where the end of the class is and now I'm gonna give a little bit of space and we are gonna remove all of this here and what we are gonna do first thing I'm gonna tell you that this game manager is gonna keep track of our score and life score and he is also gonna keep track if the player has died so for that we are gonna create public int score and we are gonna create public int life score this is for our score and we need also a public boolean player died game restarted like this. Now one thing that I want to show you is since we are going to create our game manager to be a singleton and what does that mean and what did I type here manager yeah manager okay so what does a singleton mean? Well, a singleton is a game object that we only have one copy of and it will not be destroyed. We will be able to carry it through our scene in another scene. Now, what does this mean? Well, notice here, when I run the game, notice now here we only have the game manager. So we have the game manager in the scene. Am I correct? Yes, I am. So when I click the start button, we are going to go in our gameplay and when I open the scene, we don't see anywhere that we have a game manager. We want our game manager to be available to us also in our gameplay scene but we do not want to make copies of it because if we make copies, if we have two game managers and we try to save the score and the life score with our game manager, with which game manager is that score going to be saved? We don't know. So for that we need only one copy and in order to be able to do so we are going to create here a public static game manager instance so instance now what does this static mean well static means that now we can use the name of this class and the name of this variable to access this variable which we will see in a second so now we are going to create a singleton out of our game object and I like it to do it like this so I create private void not body it's void make singleton and here we are going to test if instance is equal to null, meaning the instance is not set to anything, and this is our instance, instance of the class, it is not set to anything as we see here, and when I say set to anything, we did not type equal to some value. So if it's not equal to the value, meaning it is equal to null. So here we are testing if our instance is equal to null, or actually, excuse me, we need to test if it's not equal to null. So if we already have one copy of the instance, what we are going to do is we are going to destroy the game object. And the game object is this one right here that carries this script or the actual game manager right here that we see. 
So he will be destroyed if this is not equal to nil, meaning we have a copy. Else, that means that we don't have a copy. So what we are going to do then, then we are going to say instance is equal to this. And what does that mean? Well, this refers to this right here. So yeah, I know it's funny, but the keyword this refers to the class where it is used. So if you type this inside of class called game manager, then it is referring to the game manager class. And as a last thing, we are going to say don't destroy unload and we are going to say game object. And lastly, we need to go here and create void awake, which is the first function that's going to be called. And here we are simply going to say make single tip. So what is this going to do? Well, if I go back here in Unity and run it, notice now in the scene we have the game manager the same way and now we have it under don't destroy unload. So we have our game manager here the same way as we did before and now when we go in our gameplay, notice what's going to happen. We have the game manager still, he is here. So the game manager is still available with us. That means this, don't destroy unload. Because every time we load a new scene, Every other game object that was in the previous scene, so not the current scene that we have loaded, but the scene that we loaded that scene from. So we are currently in the main menu. When we type here and go in the gameplay, every game object that is in the main menu will be destroyed. If you don't want game objects to be destroyed, then you need to type this, don't destroy unload, which will carry, notice the game manager is here, when I go back or click start, the game manager is now again in our gameplay. And you saw me, I did not put this in the gameplay. I only put it in main menu. So this is what don't destroy unload means. And this means that if we have a copy of the instance, we will destroy it. If we don't have a copy of the instance, then we are going to set it to be equal to this or the class itself. So this was it for the game manager, which we are going to reuse from the gameplay controller in order to control our game. So we're going to start wrapping up our game from the next video. And I will see you then, guys.